I guess I'll have to check. I'll assume it is. Um, okay, so I went to bed at 9.30 last night, right? And I listened to my podcast for an hour, and I heard it end, but eventually I fell asleep. But then I woke up around 2.30. I was having a lot of trouble breathing, because I don't have a CPAP mask right now. And also, my throat was particularly gummy. I don't know if it's the, the protein powder I've been drinking, or I'm not drinking enough water. i got to figure it out, because it's, it's not a good situation. I just was basically lying in bed all night going, <gasps> can't breathe. And uh, put on another, I put on the same podcast again at 2.30 in the morning that went for an hour. And then uh, finally at 9.30, I sort of woke up and I'm like, all right, well, I guess that's 12 hours sleep. Sorry, there's a bird out there. Well, here, I'll show you. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Um, so anyway, I've just been sitting in bed uh, until now, but I think I want to go for a jog. Uh, we can start the month fresh. This can be positive May or healthy May, or some word that starts with M, motivational May. Um, and I've got my scale now, so I can start getting into bikini shape. So, yeah. Uh, and let's see what everyone is saying they're doing today. So, last night I asked, what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, Dr. A.S. says, catching up on much-needed sleep. That's what I try to do, except I can't breathe. Drop of color says up at 8 a.m., work out at 8.30, breakfast, then get my first vaccine, and then the day drinking. Uh, well, hmm, breakfast and working out sounds good to me. You're going to drink all day? What? Kiki says admissions and lighting experiments to hone my filmmaking skills. That's what I like to see. At least, oh my God, did you hear my stomach growl? Oh, okay, sorry about that. Yes, making films, good. Going Boldly says, spending time with family. First t-ball game with the little guy. Six-year-old grandson. Oh, my God. I should have a six-year-old grandson. God! Anyways, have fun on my behalf. And he says it's all bad for the environment, and it's just a Ponzi scheme. Still, I wish somehow I had bought some Ted years ago i'd be a multi-billionaire but i'm planning to be a billionaire soon i uh i i started uh something today uh so you can mark this in your calendars when i'm a billionaire but you can say ah oh, josh told me about that in his story so i'll keep you posted on that uh but what else did i do today around three o'clock my sister called <laughs> from upstairs she's like i'm i'm upstairs i'm like oh cool she was playing scrabble with my dad so I finally went upstairs, but I wanted to go for a jog because I'd just been sitting on the couch again all day. Uh, and so I had my, my running gear on. My mom's like, you're going out now? I'm like, why not? It's 3 o'clock. And then my aunt called my dad, and she needed some medication picked up at the drugstore before 5. Uh, and my dad asked if I could get it. So I, I jogged over there, got it. Then I tried running to the bank. This is all, like, starting at 3.30. And then I got to the bank uh, in time... It was like 3, 4, 53, and it said on the website that it was open 10 to 4 on Saturdays, but then the sign said, no, we're closed last Saturday and this Saturday for some reason. And I didn't have time. It looked like a 16-minute walk to the next bank. Anyways, didn't really matter. I had $5 from my beer bottles that I was able to put in the bank machine. I had 40 cents in change. And I had a dollar ninety two that I wanted to transfer from one bank account to another. And it's interesting, so I looked at my checkbook, and I looked at the number of the check, and it was check 192 and I was going to deposit a dollar ninety two, and that's just it's just evidence that there are greater forces at play. So then I ran from the bank to my aunt's house because the medication needed to be uh, refrigerated, and I didn't. Uh, the The pharmacy woman asked if I wanted ice with it. I'm like, no, I'm going to take it over now. Um, so I dropped that off, and then she's like, oh, and can you take this laundry back? And she had two big laundry bags. At first, I thought, oh, she was sending back clean laundry, but that makes no sense. She was sending dirty laundry to be washed. Uh, and I said, okay, I'm jogging. She's like, oh, oh, you're jogging. I'm like, no, no, I'll take it anyways. So I ran with my two bags along the canal. The, the road is uh, closed off on the weekend, I guess, again. I don't know. It was really nice to run along the road. And then I dropped that off, and I showed my mom. She was busy, I think, doing a puzzle or something in her room. And then I felt like going back out, so I just ran out some more. I'd already been out for an hour and, and run, like, almost 6K. But I just felt like I hadn't got my fill. So uh, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart. And I was looking, I was really thirsty. So I was looking for like some kind of powder or drops to put in water. 
couldn't find any there. And then I mean, I kept running. I went to a health food store and I bought some chia seeds and some flax seeds. And they had, here, I'll show you. <clears throat> these vitamin pills these are like ten dollars and 99 cents each each package and there's just like 12 of them in there little fizzy things uh but i got those and they had a sign saying there's a senior's discount like thursday through sunday i'm like oh, i should have brought my mom but i told her about that at dinner and she's like well why didn't you just say you were picking up for seniors i'm like oh, why well, i mean i could have at least tried uh Anyways, then I kept running and I went up to Shoppers and I got a couple of yogurts so I could put my seeds in the yogurt because the yogurt at the health food store was really expensive, although it was the good stuff. It was Liberté Lemon. Anyways, about 10 kilometers into this, I ran back home. Oh, and with a big carton of a smoothie in my bag too and the yogurts and uh, it was all ridiculous. A lot of, it was getting heavy. Uh, but my, and my, my mom's like, how did you take all that? And she didn't even know I had the smoothie in the fridge. She was like asking with the yogurt at dinner. And I'm like, I'm just strong. It's kind of exciting. I like being able to just be, I'm just going to go out and run around. So hopefully I'll start losing weight. I was watching a video today, this guy, The Quartering. He's this YouTuber I watch and he was saying he's 38. He made a video about how he's depressed and he's gotten really fat this year. But he knows if he just gets off his butt and, and, and eats, a, you know, stops with the, the nighttime snacking, he can lose weight. He's done it before. So that's what I'm going to do too. So pay attention to my face right now because you're going to see it's going to get a lot slimmer. It's going to be very exciting. Oh, and just before I went on the run, I was going to, I was looking in the fridge. I'm like, I'll make some oatmeal. I just taken out the oatmeal. I was like, I made rice pudding. I'm like, well, as a meal? And, and she's like, yeah, there's like eggs in it and milk. You can put milk in it. I'm like, fine. So I had a bit of rice pudding and that actually did fuel me for my run. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so then when I was back downstairs here, I think I had a shower and then my dad texted me that they were eating soup, so I went upstairs and had soup. And then my mom had an 8 p.m. Zoom call she had to go to. It was the launch of Ottawa Run Weekend or something, which would normally be an in-person run, but maybe some kind of virtual run thing. I don't know. It's, it's amazing that she's so into fitness. It's great. Uh, and then my dad was just sitting at the table with me. Mm. So I don't know. He's like, maybe you should air out your room. So I think whenever I go out he comes back downstairs or and he sort of pokes around he's like you could open the windows i'm like fine and then he said he was gonna go up and uh read his thriller book that he's working on and and he said oh he's taping there's a new Night live so he's gonna record that and i said yeah the one with elon musk he's like, oh i didn't know that was gonna be it and he's like maybe it's like a car commercial I'm like i don't know there people are wondering why he's on the show so it'll be exciting and see that ties it all back to cryptocurrency which i was talking about because bill maher was saying like why did tesla invest in bitcoin when it's so bad for the environment and you know they're the electric car people but i mean elon musk i mean the company just made a hundred million dollars through i guess whatever bitcoin they bought and then sold it i don't know um oh that reminds me remind me to start my facebook group tomorrow i'm going to give you tips on becoming a billionaire it's going to be good but it's going to be well it's, it's an exclusive group so um you'll have to be nice to get in Anyways, uh, I already showed you the answers from last night. So what's tonight's question? Ah, oh, one more thing. So somebody just messaged me and she's like, is it okay that I have a baby? Can you still like me? And that just reminded me of, because um, I was going to say, I like babies. But then it just reminded me, I was running down Elgin and this woman was holding hands with her little daughter. It looked like maybe two. And as I was running by, I waved. I was like, and then I looked back and the girl was like, looking back like as i was running by she was like looking at me and then i looked back like half a block later and she's looking i was like waving hi and then i kept running and then it's like a block away and i looked back and she was still looking back and like her mom sort of trying to walk with her and and she just she liked me and i'm like oh, I, and I guess I'll, i was thinking like should i run back and say hi to the mom like what i guess i'll never see the kid again but i just like kids what i want to do now is start having kids and then just always have a kid always have a new baby like every every year forever who wants to make babies with me